If you looked up at the sky last night, you might have caught a glimpse of some beautiful colors and lights. It's called the Aurora Borealis, also known as northern lights that grace the skies over North Alabama. Take a look at this. This is a picture taken by Voltaire in Paint Rock. That is so beautiful. You can see shades of purple and pink over the night sky. Some pictures there was even red. But what causes the Aurora Borealis? Our very own Emily Owen explains. Well, the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, is a combination of a bunch of different things out in space. But first and foremost, it starts with what we call the solar wind. The solar wind is heat and charged particles that are emitted by the sun that then travel through space. You also have a magnetic field, which is surrounding Earth. Earth's magnetic field protects us from most particles that are emitted by the sun, kind of like a shield. Then you have a solar storm. On occasion, the sun will emit more charged particles than normal, so they are able to penetrate that shield. And during a solar storm, these extra charged particles will reach Earth's different poles. So you have the North Pole and you have the South Pole. Now, charged particles from the sun then collide with oxygen and nitrogen in Earth's atmospheres and that's what gives us the different colors. So oxygen produces a red and green light, while nitrogen produces a pink and a blue light. So they emit different colors of light once they interact with the particles. Now we also do have different aurora shapes. The shape of an aurora, it's going to depend on your viewing position and Earth's magnetic fields.